Greetings saints, welcome to day three of our week of prayer. Today's topic is reflecting Christ in times of darkness. Our text for consideration is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Let us hold steadfastly without wavering to the hope that we affirm for God is promised for God is faithful who has promised. We have an interesting life of Hannah as shown in the book of 1 Samuel, which reflected this verse perfectly. Hannah was a wealthy woman. She had a noble husband, a wealthy husband, but there was something missing in her life. We can safely say she was both at the mountain peak and the valley of her life at the same time. Whilst her marriage life was flourishing and going well, there's something that she lacked, which is a child. And this pained her. And we, there's a few lessons we can learn through her pain or through her story. The first one is that Hannah knew exactly what to do with her pain. The Bible records and says that she poured her heart to God. She prayed to God. And the second lesson is that Hannah believed with all her heart that in her brokenness and pain, she is not alone. God will come through for her. And the third lesson, which is a beautiful lesson, is that Hannah believed that um, in, in her pain, God will do what he has promised to do. You see, in the Bible, Jesus taught so many times his disciples that when we pray, we must believe that God will do what we are praying for. Therefore, even before we have said amen to our prayers, we must believe that what we are praying for, we will receive. Hannah believed exactly that because the Bible says that after she prayed, she stood up, she went and ate and her countenance has, had changed. She was no longer sad. This is what I want us to ponder on today, that God will not allow our brokenness and pain to have a final word in our lives. God will come through for us and fulfill the promise of giving us a bright and beautiful future. May God bless you. Amen.